Hal, I earlier just alluded a little bit to the battles that we had on the on the fitness. You are all a little bit younger than me, so <laughs> so I'll, I'll so that would be my excuse. But uh, but uh, I mean, it's been epic, and it's you know taken my fitness uh, at times to you know to new levels. Like, tell us, you know, obviously. Uh, you always hear about the injuries that rugby players have. I'm sure you've had some injuries, but uh, you are known as one of the fittest guys here on the estate. Tell us a little bit about your, you know, what does wellness mean to you? Uh, you're very involved in the community. You're on the social committee. Uh, yeah, maybe just share what wellness means for a, for a, a former professional athlete. Yeah, thanks, Ray. I think, you know, going back to the challenges that we've had, I think very luckily, the challenges have been quite favoured to me because they've been land-based challenges. Yeah, I think swimming. the minute they've been some no, swimming, 50 metre pool, we're going to do some swimming ones. Exactly, yeah, and that, that you know, as you say, that 50 minute, 50 metre outdoor pool is incredible, you know, and it's not just incredible because you can go and train there and you can, you know, you can spend a lot of time um, getting fit over there. But it's also once again another thing which has been kind of put there, which can bring the community together. And so, in the evenings, for example, a lot of us will go and we'll just have a picnic over there with our kids, and the kids will enjoy themselves in the pool, and we'll be able to catch up with the community. And so, I think a lot of the things that have happened here in this estate have been thought about, have been really thought about to try and bring the community together because without trying to date this video, but we've just come through the whole pandemic. Um, and a lot of people have been stuck in uh, smaller properties and haven't had access to um, what we've had over here. You know, we've, had, we've got access to a thousand hectares. As I said before, there's, there's bike trails, there's outdoor trails, and there's coffee shops and there's offices. And what something kind of special happens here where you end up bumping into your the people that you live next door, next, next door to, and you keep seeing them. And, and I think, over the last 20 to 30 years, there's kind of been a move away from community and I felt like that's really been missing. That was really missing in the UK, but when I came here, I soon realized that, you know, Valder V and, um, has, is based around community. And so getting to see those people, getting to meet them, it's, it's such a healthy thing. It's been so great for my, for my child as well, because since the age of about four, four and a half, all he does is he gets on his little bike and he cruises from house to house on what I like to call our, our, you know, our farm. He cruises around to mates and he goes and plays all day. If they're not at the soccer pitch, they're on the mountain bikes or, they, or they're fishing in the dams or they, you know, there's so many incredible things that yeah. they can do here. And it makes me so, um, um, it, it, it gives me such a sense of fulfillment that I've actually been able to put myself in a, put my, my, ch my child in a space like this, you know, where there's a community, um, you know, <laughs> There is that old, I think it's an African proverb, which says it uh, takes a community yeah. to bring up a, a healthy child. And um, that is certainly probably the number one thing that stands out for me over here. Every Sunday we've got a five kilometer run here on the estate. And this one Sunday I was feeling pretty good, but Max was in front of me. And uh, what's his best time now for a five kilometer? And how old is he? He's uh, no, he's he is fit, and I hate to say it, we're getting very close to that age where he's going to take me as well. Um, but yeah, he's eight years old, and he's um, he ran a 19-12, yeah. which apparently um, puts him in kind of the 90 percent percentile of 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 boys age group, which is which is quite interesting. But it, it is, as you say, it's it's, um, it's it's very nice for him to be able to have uh, those opportunities because I think the world is moving and. You know, I think where offerings at school, at sports and stuff like that might be coming less and less. I think, yeah, he's, as I said, there's a soccer pitch, rugby pitch, there's opportunities for him to do cross country and stuff within this estate. And so he can develop that side of him. It's not necessarily a sport that you have to put time out. It's just what they do naturally and, and it comes naturally. And yourself, what do you do these days to stay fit? So yes, you, uh, your question previously was about yeah, some of the old injuries and stuff, and that's also another benefit of being on this estate. Because I think in the three gyms that we have here, you know, we have bike, we have access to bike analysis, which actually I use once a week just to make tweak and make sure that everything's okay. Um, do some pool work, you know, just to keep the um, the limbs good. There's access to yoga, which I which I never used to do, but I realise how important it is now as well. Um, I mix it up, Rick. Uh, try and keep things fresh. 
Um, so, I mean, there's a, geez, there's a world-class gym here, which um, I, I believe the French um, Olympic cycle, cyclist team we, we're training here, the rugby teams are training here quite often. So we have access to that world-class facility. But also, as I said, I mix it up. I'll try and get into the hills um, around this estate, um, on the trails, on the bikes. Um, yeah, and then, you know, just with um, the people running the gym, people like John, John McGraw, we have access to also these um, high intensity training classes and once again you bump into friends and community and then you go for a coffee afterwards and it's kind of if, if i could paint the, the perfect or draw out the perfect lifestyle for myself it really is yeah you know so very good well thank you very much for your time and for sharing your your insights you you uh, you know you travel a lot uh, you've got the property experience and uh, i think as a family you really embody what the lifestyle can be and you take full advantage of it you yeah. squeeze every drop out of the Voldivy lifestyle so yeah. and we love that uh, so thank you every uh, also for everything that you do for the estate and for the ambassador that you are you you're you're an unofficial ambassador but definitely one of uh, our biggest ambassadors so we really appreciate it and um, yeah you know thanks for yeah, thanks for your time today and thank you Rick. thanks for everything that you guys are doing on this estate we really really value it i think we're getting way more than what we paid for so we really appreciate yeah. it thank you thanks that's it for our wellness video um, if you like it please subscribe and like it and we'll see you back here soon